So what is the UK MLA? So what is up guys, I'm Samar. I'm an IMG here in London, you know, aiming to get GMC license. A whole different video, maybe in the future. Uh, I know some people asked me a while back, I know I've not been making videos, but you know, life is just all over the place. Anyways, the UK MLA is United Kingdom's, you know, medical license assessment exam. As I've said, it will be replacing lab. It will be a more standardized version as they say and I think it will be because it's an exam that even the UK students here will be writing as well. So just like the US MLA where international students as well as you know US students write, so will the you know, UK students here as well. Will it be harder then? I don't know. I will, you can look at it from two perspectives which I'll talk about after I did tell you what the exam is composed of and you know the pricing which they have not stated it's like the plan two parts akt cpsa applied knowledge test multiple choice as well they have given us you know a content map which i'll put the link down below and you can see them here as well so this is the content map in six different areas and it's the same thing as plan i don't think there's anything extra they added same thing they test on normally is what they will probably test on again the cpsa same thing they just changed the name it's now a clinical and professional skill assessment, CPSA. Also, it will be taking place in Manchester. For UK students, I think it will be in their own respective universities. All in all, uh, I don't think it's going to be very different. It's just, it's more standardized. Now, talking about the difficulty level, which is what I'm sure it's in everyone's mind. Let's look at it from two perspectives. One. It might be harder because the UK students will be tested on it as well. So they want to put you on the same pedestal. But then if you look at it from that perspective where you're going to be on the same pedestal as a UK student. Not that I'm saying plan, you know, passing plan, getting good marks doesn't help you, but that will be more of, okay, this UK student got this on this exam, the IMG got this, let's go with the IMG. Do you understand? It's just like the US MLE where American student got this, the international student got this, kind of gives you a bit of advantage because then the examiners and you know hospitals and whatnot know that you both wrote the same exam. And that's basically it. There's nothing extra, I don't think. I'll put the link of the GMC's you know, information. They haven't given us much. All they have said is by 2023, they'll be introducing it. And 2024 is going to be officially UK MLA. If you're wondering if you might have written, you know, let's say, by 2023 you wrote Plab 1 and 2024 you're planning to write you know Plab 2 and that time they've already changed it. Yes, once you write Plab 1 and you haven't written Plab 2, you have basically still passed the UK MLS Part 1 test, the AKT. So you just go straight to the CPSA. If you have failed Plab 1, let's say, and by that time you want to reapply and it's just been changed, uh, the failure of Plab 1 will still be counted, even though you know they don't really, hospitals don't really care if you pass or fail, but GMC does have a criteria of how many times you can write it. I think Plab 1, you write it four times maximum, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So basically, it's not much change. I think the most emphasis on the word standardized, both UK students and IMG will be taking it, and as well as the European national students, because they have this thing where even if they studied in China, but they're European nationals and they come to work in the UK, right now they don't have to write Plab. But UK students still do if they study outside. But just some some things don't make sense to me sometimes. But anyways, yeah, looking at this from perspective where you'll be on the same pedestal. I think that's what you should look at. Yes, it will be hard. It might not be as well, but just study and do your stuff, you know. Know your stuff. If you look at the content map, it's not as deep as it is as USMLE is, whereby they dive in so you know to the nitty-gritty details. So I don't think you should be stressed out about that. Just do what you do. I know it's scary if you're going to be the first batch to write it. But like I said, if you study correctly, study hard, it'll still be an easy exam compared to your assembly or any other board exam. But anyways, if you found this information helpful, my social media, do follow it. Hit the subscribe and if you have any video suggestions, down in the comment box. See you guys next time.